Hey everyone, it's Joan Isaias here from The Automator, and I was just really excited. This is a quick demo here of showing how we finally got Studio to be able to run V2 code. Uh, this is still in beta. We're releasing it with the Hero people uh, for testing things out. Now, an important point is it will run V1 and V2, so that's very cool. However, the IntelliSense only works, well, it only suggests for V2. That's right. We moved it to give that, but we don't know if it is possible to show both IntelliSenses at the same time or choose between them. Right. But yeah, right. that's something yeah. that we're going to well, see. As, as you know, anything is possible. It's a matter yeah. of how much work is it going to be in order to make that happen. Um, exactly. But it is pretty cool that like you can come in here and you can run, like I said, go to Alt-R. Oh, that's... The, because um, it says... Alt-M, right. run. So now you can choose between the, the 32 uh, V2 and... So just type as space as run space as now you have all the the ones so v1 v2 ANSI. maybe maybe we should change these to say v1 just to right yeah i didn't change yeah. it because the name that shows up in here is used somewhere else so i didn't want oh, to break right. it okay. right so so i wanted to just make sure that it worked it's just the lazy way yeah i get it <laughs> but the ones that are v2 it just says v2 in there so yeah fair enough right right so um th this will be like i said the Hero members are testing out. If you're not using V2, it's really a great, you know, upgrade to, to switch to it. You, again, it, it's not any faster. It's just going to save you time in developing code, especially advanced code. That's right. And just to keep in mind, this will technically, if you don't want to be pulling up this menu and choosing from here, this will force you to use the requires directive. Because right. now, if you just go ahead and switch this to V2.0, and you run that code, it will give you the variable instead of the text because it's running uh, V2. So if you don't want to be pulling up the menu or whatever, just start putting your requirement up here. Yeah. Um, the only thing as Joe just mentioned is this here is only going to be giving you the suggestion for the V2 command. Some of, some of the commands change a little bit like message box in V1 has four parameters and here's just three. But after that, most of them look basically the same. Yeah. The other subtle thing which we're going to work on, but it's a very advanced topic, is being able to use the single quotes to say that it's text, right? Right now, the double quotes will change the color of the, the scintilla highlighting to be right. text, but the single quotes, it doesn't pick up on it. But it's it's a right. very complicated thing to fix, so we're going to work on that one later. That's right. So basically, if you just add something with as text in there. Yeah, it should be highlighted correctly. But if you do it with single quotes, the script is going to work correctly. It's right. just the coloring that is not going to be shown. That's the all. Yeah, throw it away. No. <laughs> That's why we're like, it. this is one of those, it's a good lesson to learn, right? It's a very, solving that problem is going to be, it's going to take us a bit, quite a bit of time, but it works. So you know what? Screw it. Let's just Keep get it, it like that now. for now. Yeah. Yeah. And we'll we'll fix it later. Thanks everyone. Cheers. Bye.